Greetings everybody! Today we're going to talk about cashews. Did you know that cashews, the nut, comes from a fruit? No, I am not Tobascus. I don't know what that means. Yeah, a while ago I made a video where I reviewed the cashew apple and uh, a lot of people said that to me. They also uh, complained a lot that I was doing everything wrong. So I am back again to talk about the cashew fruit and we're gonna see if we could do it right. So let's explain how this is, is happening right here, okay? As I understand it, the nut of a cashew that we eat comes from inside of this guy here. So I don't wanna to touch it too much because this guy is related to poison ivy and can cause contact dermatitis if you monkey around with it too much. So inside this shell here is the cashew nut that we eat. Uh, what's attached to it here is what you call an accessory fruit. This actually grows after the fact. So when this is growing on the tree, first this guy appears with the seed inside that you eat, and then over time, uh, this guy starts building up on the side of it, okay? So technically, the fruit is actually this. It's the shell around that seed. That's the fruit, technically and this is an accessory fruit. So it's, it's kind of weird, right? And they look so strange. They look like something that isn't real. It looks like a toy or something. So there are yellow ones and there are red ones. And I believe that these are the same species that this is maybe unripe. Correct me if I'm wrong, but that's, that's my understanding of it. And uh, to remove the nut, you kind of like grab it and twist and it pops off, and then you're left with a little gap right there. And one thing that I was told that I'm doing wrong when I ate this last time is that you're not meant to eat the top, that you should cut that off because this part can be very astringent. And the reason why I found it so astringent last time is that I ate that part. So I'm gonna actually do that with a couple of these. Uh, this one here is very, very squishy. So I'm wondering if maybe when they get a little bit more ripe like this one, that astringency goes away. This one's real juicy. I'm just like <laughs> pulling this nut off and look, see that? Water's dripping out or the juice is dripping out. If you've ever wondered why cashews are so expensive, this is why. It's only one nut per fruit. And there's a lot of waste there. Some of this is used, like people in the, on farms will like usually use it as like cattle feed or if it's in an area where it's popular, maybe they'll sell it locally but you'll never find this at a market, uh, at least not where I live in the U.S. Uh, or somewhere where uh, cashews do not grow. And that's because it's <sighs> it's really fragile. You know, like this one here is, is pretty firm because I think it's a little underripe, but these things are like super, super squishy. There's no way that this would survive, uh, especially if you remove the nut, because then that makes this uh, exposed. I'm gonna cut this top off just like that. Yep, and you can see it's just like one big mass. No seed in there because the seed, of course, is on the outside. I'm gonna cut just a little slice of it, like so. And we'll try that. And I'm also going to do it with the uh, yellow one because the yellow ones are also for sale at markets. And I'm guessing people are buying them for a reason. So we've got the red, we've got the yellow, and you can see it's very different in texture. Very different. This one is like so super soft, and this one is like more like a guava in texture. Another thing that I said in the past that got me in trouble is that I think that these smell kind of like gasoline. Let me explain. If uh, we're not gonna say gasoline, this is very similar to curry leaves, but you know, not everybody knows the smell of curry leaves. For my Western mind, the closest thing that I'm exposed to uh, on, a, on a regular basis is the smell of gasoline, but there are other things in the world that smell like this that are don't have that negative association. It's a good smell. I like the smell, but closest similarity is something that is more negative. So first let's start with taking a bite out of the red variety. It has these stringy little fibers going through it. Those are a little tough. If you were to make a juice out of this, you blend this up and you strain out that fiber. And you can swallow it, but 
kind of like swallowing a piece of paper. So I'm gonna actually spit that out. So the flavor of this is probably closest to mango. And mangoes are actually related to this. It's like mango, but it's, it's milder. It's not like a, a super uh, tart sort of flavor. It's, it's kind of uh, mellow. Mellow in the same way that like coconut water is, like that sort of thing. And it's actually a little nutty the same way coconut water would be. But instead of tasting more like coconut, it tastes more like cashew. It's like the cashew water version of a coconut water, if, if that makes sense. And I'm getting a little bit of astringency from it, but not a lot. If you were to like make a juice out of this and water it down a little bit, you wouldn't notice at all. And I probably should point out that if you are watching this because you want to eat this and you have one in your hand, first ask yourself if you are allergic to anything. <laughs> because uh, if you're allergic to things, you might have a sensitivity to this. Some people are allergic to mangoes because they're getting that little bit of um, that chemical that uh, is in poison ivy and has a touch of that. And if you're really sensitive to that compound, that'll, get, that'll mess you up. Even like a mango will mess you up. This one has more of it. So you gotta be careful. Even me, like when I eat that, I feel like a little bit of a burn. Uh, kind of like the burn that you eat, you get when you like eat a lot of pineapple, like that sort of burn. Not, not negative, like, oh no, I'm gonna like break out in hives, but a little bit of a burn. And I'm not allergic to like, many mangoes, I hate my weight in mangoes. But what about the yellow one? So I think the yellow one might be more astringent. Yes, it kind of passes quickly, but I do get a little bit of a, a cotton mouth sort of feel when I bite into that. And on this one, uh, it's milder. It's not as strong of a mango flavor, and it's actually maybe a little bit like star fruit. Uh, this one's a little drier, but still, there's something like nice and satisfying about eating it. It's like soft, succulent, juicy, um, the yellow ones and definitely the red ones. Here in Costa Rica, there is not a lot of production of cashews. I don't think it's really done on a, on a major export or anything, but they are produced locally. And one interesting thing about that is that if you go to um, some shops that sell local products, you'll see your cashews sold like this. They come in this little like tube like this for like a dollar fifty. These nuts are a little bit rough. You see some dark spots and stuff like that. Because this is sold locally, there's less selection. You know, people get really picky with exported things. But I think naturally, if you make your own cashews, it's gonna look more like that. Uh, and how it's done here is you take these guys and you roast them in a fire until they like turn completely black and then inside the, uh, the nut will be okay. I was considering roasting these, but I think if I were to try to do that, that would be kind of irresponsible <laughs> to do that indoors uh, in an Airbnb. I probably would get a bad rating. But what I do wanna try is, uh, before I go, real quick, I'm gonna try one of the locally made cashews. So I didn't do it, but somebody did. And again, you can see a little rough, and I think that's just because it got a little burned when it was being uh, roasted. Really, really good. This tastes, um, they're not salted, and they're not roasted um, a lot. I think they're roasted in the shell, but then they're not um, roasted again out of the shell. Even though they're not salted, there's a lot of flavor in that. You can almost taste a little bit of the fruit when you eat that. And they're sweeter than a regular cashew that you get in the U.S. So I think that is about it, everybody. <laughs> so uh, cashews are great. Uh, I think they look amazing. They're, they're so interesting looking. The flavor of it, really, really good. It's like mango, but unique. And uh, the nut, come on. Wonderful. So uh, I love cashews, this has been fun, and uh, hopefully in the future I can do some more with, uh, with cashew nuts and try making it myself. Uh, we'll see. All right, till then guys, bye-bye. 
I would like to give a big shout out to Smarter Every Day, Lofty Rex, and JMac. They are mega patrons over on Patreon.com. Patreon, I'm sure you've heard about it, but basically it is how I can afford to go on all the adventures that I go on on this channel and how I buy all the fruit that I buy. So if you are interested in supporting the channel, check out the link in the description below. Another way to help out is by going to my website. My website has all my videos organized into categories, which is pretty cool, and I also have t-shirts for sale over there. So check it out, and I will see you all next time.